should you wait for this person or let them go if this is going on in your mind this reading found you for a reason so i am picking up energy of a collective who are in a situation they are trying to make a decision about a specific person they are trying to think looking back into the connection during this no contact or during this breakup situation whether should i hold on to this connection or i should let this go you are doing a lot of introspection analyzing the past connections whatever happened you are trying to see this person who really they are rather than who you they really thought they are all right so now i think it's kind of for taking the glasses off your you know that those rose color glasses off and seeing this person for who they truly are but i'm feeling like even though that is a thing that there are many things coming on the surface that you are really understanding that this person is not truly the person who you thought they are but still a part of you holding on to this connection now you want to know why it is still happening um i feel like there is a reason why you are feeling this way but i want to check that with the cards but here i'm going to do this in a two a different sets like i'm not two different sets two two different sets of cards so one i will see what you are thinking about it and i would see the other perspective of your person also what they are thinking about it okay should i wait or let it go so your perspective and your person's perspective um let's get it done uh, but before this is for your perspective and that's the one will be the other card will be for your person's perspective um but remember it's a collective reading it might not resonate with all of you okay so if you find that whatever is it's been said in this reading is totally connecting to your mindset then proceed for further otherwise there's no problem like watch the rest of the videos otherwise there's no point of doing this and to book a paid private reading the only option will be to email me at divine mother's guidance guidance with an a at @gmail.com this email id should be written on the screen or should be in the description box of my youtube channel scammers have made fake id with fake spellings wrong spellings make sure you are typing the right spelling and in any platform i will never follow you offer you a dm reading so if you see a similar profile following you offering you a dm reading um or whatsapp reading giving you whatsapp number any other email id saying bullshit like that id got hacked or shit like that that's not me if i my my id gets hacked i will come forward and let you know but so far that's the only id and i do not do whatsapp email readings and stuff only video call readings so you can get a reading by contacting me in the email id i mentioned and if you're watching me on tiktok now now let's go forward and take the cards for you um make sure that you see the attached video in the tiktok or instagram it where it's it is identify like that's video will open up and show you to um how to identify the scammers if you don't see that video you can be assured that that's a scam id all right and my only tiktok id has 155k plus followers i know it's a lecture but i have to say it to save my followers every day they are being scammed all right now come to the business you what you are thinking about this connection should you wait or walk away what your higher self is thinking about it Cypress, seven of pentacles over there, flipped. Shirts. I have to give this lecture because every alternate day somebody comes to tell me I've been scammed. I was restless, so I had to contact. They came to me saying I want to do cleansing and shit. All right, eight of wands. Ah, uh, sorry, eight of swords and the bottom of the deck. Seven of pentacles, four of pentacles. Seven of Swords, the High Priestess, the Temperance, the Hierophant. Wow, Five of Cups. That makes sense. I knew this. Um, uh, Hangman, Strength, Seven of Cups, Ten of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. what immediately i'm picking up on you are so disappointed with this person so so disappointed with this five of cup energy like what you ever thought about this person they never did show up the way you wanted you feel like no matter how much i poured into this connection at the end of the day i came like i ended up with disappointment nothing good i could ever find in this connection it's about more i thought that i will work more this person will be better um after some time this person will start understanding the value of this connection they will be like a better version of them and i kept on thinking that this person will change they will understand the value of this relationship but it is not happening now i am in a situation that i gave up i literally gave up that this person will ever ever change i did so much i did put so much effort i tried to change myself i tried to i tried to do things as the best possible way to accommodate this person in my life 
see the effort that i gave into this connection they never saw it they on the, only on the surface level they probably see but they didn't even know how much i did internally i didn't even let them know how much i accommodated this person every fucking day in my life changing this changing that pushing my priorities here and there but i tried to do this they didn't even see how much i tried to keep them in my life they always but they always disappointed me and not only that this person were lying to me they never did show their true emotions to me i was literally trying to understand where i stand in person's life but they always kept me in a situation it's a darkness like i never understood clearly what i mean to this person's life do i even stay anywhere like do they even need me do they even love me this is completely confusion confusion and clutter every fucking day i've been asking do i mean something to this person no never and this person did put you under this condition for a long long time and i believe this is a no contact that is going my ac i need to switch it off problem with me i can't deal with ac it triggers my sinus i don't know what happens with the ac so in the summer i have to put the fan on but the video gets destroyed so anyways listen um so i'm feeling like this no contact shit show is going on for quite a long time quite a long time and you've been standing in in this hanging position not moving at all no nothing is happening this person is not showing any interest in communicating on any interest in making this relationship work you started seeing this from a different perspective like what you were doing your own you know now it's like a you know they said like a calculation in like debit credit kind of a situation that's going on in your mind like what did i expect and what did i get what did this person say and what they actually did what effort they could have given what effort they have given so this is exactly now you are slowly getting out of that mental zone of delusion what you imprinted in your mind about this person you are taking off that you know that real delusional idea or the delusional perspective of that person that you had now you are gaining a new perspective look at this hangman because this person is hanging in this situation for a long time now they are gaining clarity this is a light bulb moment aha uh -huh. it's this is not what i thought even though these things are all doing now what you are trying to do you are trying to be strong you are trying to be strong because you know you know yourself better than anybody else right you know that even though this happens i feel weak and i go back to this person again and again begging for their attention begging for these things but this time i'm not going to do this i am not going to do this i'm going to be strong i'm going to be focusing on myself and that's probably what doing right now you are focusing on yourself your physical well being your appearance your um job your whatever you do it's about you and you seeing that you are attracting lot of people and are around your energy who who were never in around your energy you might be seeing some new friends coming towards you you might be seeing some new business coming towards you some opportunities opening for opening for you lots of candles here see those are the new hopes coming in your area and you suddenly thinking why this world is changing for me this is beautiful it is because you are now started to love yourself you did put this person in so much on pedestal that you never thought that you can live life without this person you can have a world without this person your identity was somehow connected to this person okay like this person's love means anything um and everything for me i see them as a part i see myself as a part of them them as a part of me so if they are not in my world my world is fucking lost i cannot live without them and now you are coming out of the shells that yes i can still have my own world even though this person doesn't come forward i can still make it work for me because i deserve it i don't deserve to be treated like this okay um all those things you are doing is really taking you forward you might be growing in your business somehow you are seeing changes in your appearance changes in your thought process changing in your things i would say that still there is a moment going on when you are going hot and cold you are going on confusion there are moments when you are going back to that situation where you feel sad and depressed just a moment you there are moment you still feel like you feeling crying you're feeling devastated you feel like going back to this person you are still questioning there are moments when um why did this happen why did this person do this did they ever love me did they ever care for me all those things that happened was it just like a shit show was it just like a like you know it's like one sided it is because i was there that's why this person was reciprocating otherwise they never loved me is it that all so this the questions are still going on so a part of you is still holding on this connection still holding on this connection now this is what is going on in your love world keep doing whatever you are doing but there are something that i felt and i saw in my connection in this cards that i'm going to tell you the strong connection that you are feeling for this person 
even though after seeing that this person is not going to give you what you wanted this person is never going to be uh, the person of you and giving you anxiety and tension this indecisiveness in mind fuck situation even though even though it is happening but still you can't let them go you still holding on a part of them even though you are healing even though everything is in your in your logical mind and everything you are saying like no i'm not going to go back to this person this is not good for me this is nowhere um what i wanted but you know what i'm saying this is a card connecting card between two cards the high priestess the hierophant why you are being connected why you are not being able to let it go this person go this is such a highly spiritual connection highly spiritual connection this person you believe in twin flame you believe in two, two divine part counterpart this connection is that level of connection this is the reason no matter how much you are trying to let this person go you can't you are still holding on to this going back to their thought now this means that this person came to your life for a reason even though all those things are going on you still see them as 10 of cups your wish fulfillment okay but about there, there is like a temperance here this is the balance is internally you are trying to balance it out what exactly a part of you telling you a logical mind for yourself your self love your self respect move on move on move on this is not your connection but something is holding back to this this is that connection now if this is your connection now you will be saying that what exactly you are trying to tell me here all i am trying to tell me tell you here i am not here to feed your delusion that this person is going to come back this is this this is that no i'm not going to ask you to that i'm not even asking you to stay in this connection wait for this person no i'm not even saying that all i'm saying that all good whatever you are doing go forward move forward now this is the beauty of this when you know that you have you have a beginning of a connection there will be a lot of delusion this person is this this person is that slowly when the true color of that person comes up but you still feel the love for that person that's called a true love that's called true love that means you truly love this person connection this is not like a just like a trauma bond yeah it can be a trauma bond because it might this person has triggered your abandonment issues or you might have triggered their anxious um, you know ab avoidance issues that can be okay but this person came to your life to help you to heal those trauma bonds all those insecurities those those negative thoughts those fear of abandonment childhood traumas that you had within this person came to your life to help you heal but that doesn't end over there this person actually activated you in your spiritual journey or you activated this person in their spiritual journey so you might have started seeing signs and synchronicities once this person come to your life and this is i think a time zone and a timeline where you are standing it's another spiritual level up for you you know why because when this person came to your life in the beginning you were delusional you accepted them and whatever is the way they triggered you on your spiritual journey now you are rebirthing in this connection this is a second birth of this connection so this is when you are falling in love second time with this person what does it mean i'm going to explain but remember again take what resonates leave what doesn't everything is not for everyone all right this video going to be more than 10 uh, 15 minutes i'm going to post my full video on my youtube ch channel the name of the channel is let's ask tarot should be written on the screen so please follow me there i'm going to explain that part also i we will do a reading about your person's thought about whether you should stay or walk away all right so let's continue now why i'm saying that it is a second birth of this connection because the first time when you one 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 on the counter for a reason all right so when the first time you met this person that was a chemistry that was something like the hormones and then the connection happened and you loved them it was like obsession da 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 you know romance limerence all shit show together now here this person awakened you and now you can see this person for a moment i needed to pull the curtains it's becoming very dark here so now you can see this person for who they are who they are you can see their trauma you can see their indecisiveness you can see their negativity you can see the all those things that goes in this person their avoidance um you know they're trying to avoid you for any conflict um they are uh, running away from conflict you know the darkness in them all those things now we can see very very clearly but still you deciding to love that person so this is a rebirth of this connection in terms of loving this person for who they truly are seeing all the negatives of them seeing all the positives of them now you decide to love them it's beautiful 
So this is a rebirth of this connection, second birth of this connection. This is so you must be watching this part of the video in my YouTube channel. So if you're seeing me for the first time, please consider subscribing. I post every day and there is will be no sugar coating. If you want to know, if you want no bullshit tarot reading, this is your channel. So consider subscribing. All right. So what I'm saying that um, this is a rebirth. This is a rebirth of this connection in this lifetime. After seeing the true color of that person, you choose them to love. Because your soul recognizes them that this is my soulmate. This connection is not for one day or two days. This is a higher level of commitment. You might be a very spiritual person. This person is also spiritual. I'm saying that they might have activated you and you are now activating this person. Now this separation, whatever is going on, it is activating this person to see this whole connection from a different perspective. Previously, this person probably has thought that you are a uh, um, you know, doing fake because this person never encountered love in their life. Okay, the way you are loving them. So this is the way this person is truly loving. Because you know what? I think so far this person been seeing you like, oh, this person, like you are doing fake. You are not, uh, you are showing that to gain something, to gain their attention or just trying to prove something to this person, kind of getting validation from them. That's why you are showing them the love. But now they're truly seeing that when the separation happened, when this breakup happened, and now they are seeing that, no, this is not this person ran behind behind me. They truly loved me. That love was different. I didn't understand that. I pushed them away. I thought that they are liars. They are cheating. Well, like, you know, not cheating. They are saying, uh, trying to pretend something, but that's not true. So this kind of love exists in this world. And when they lose it, they only, only realize that. Because the people around them are not, definitely, if those people have, like had given them this kind of love they will never be triggered by your love so this is the first time they have encountered this kind of love that's why they are triggered right so once they encounter or once they feel that true love in their heart it's very hard and difficult to go back to the old connection it's very hard to go back to the people old people and pattern because once you uh, taste that that divine love there's no going back so i think you are a Somebody will call you. Somebody is going to call you. All right. I got a call. So I feel like this is for you. I'm just anyways, some kind of call or communication is coming on your way. So um, very un unexpected. Anyway, so um, yes, I can see that this is you deep inside is seeing that upgradation of this connection. So definitely you, there is a reason why you are feeling that should I go or move on? You are not moving on. You're stuck for a reason. All right. Now, um, let me do a pers perspective of your person. Then we will understand it's in a better situation like where they are standing. So I think I, I was a little bit detailed with your side. Uh, but I think you needed to know this. Okay. Now, let me see what this person's perspective, what they're thinking. Should they wait or walk away from this connection? Now, focus on your person. Think about them. Take a deep breath and take their name in your mind. Bottom of the deck is Knight of Cups. Oops. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Shirts. Ace of Pentacle. Eight of Pentacle, Four of Cups, The Wheel, Three of Shirts, The Hierophant, The Fool, The Hermit, The Queen of Cups, The Five of Pentacle, the lovers wow the moon and the eight of cups immediately that i'm picking up on this person is so so sad so so sad this person is missing you so much three of shirts eight of cups five of pentacles it's like the four of cups giving me the vibe how much they're missing you and they feel that they missed an opportunity with you 
okay they had they just feeling like what did i miss what did i tell you just when i was telling your reading that once you encounter this kind of divine love it's not easy to let it go once this person when you were around they were thinking oh this is fake this is this and that but once you walked away from this they can feel that divine love that you provided what you brought to their life now when you walked away they can see you walking away from them they are seeing you walking away gracefully they are seeing that you are not trying to fight with them you are not trying to make them feel bad you are just walking away because you feel that you don't you you this person the card gives me a vibe that they are walking towards the moon even though they can understand you are sad you are depressed you are you are not happy with that but you are because the moon energy is very sad energy i feel with this card with the confusion so i feel like you are with a heavy heart you are walking away they can see that but they are understanding that you are not stopping them to do anything you are not fighting they are not arguing you have given up and that is where this person is feeling like my goodness i missed this opportunity this is not something i wanted because this this was so much divine now they are hurting so so much they are i would say in many times this person might be crying specifically at night with this moon card because this moon and other way the moon is there so much of anxiety is built up with this person's life this person's at so much of i don't know i'm not not getting proper word here that anxiety the sadness that missing energy where is my light that kind of a energy i don't i can't deal with this i can't deal with this i never thought that this person will walk away i want i thought they will fight with me because they are my queen of cups they always did put me before them they always met my needs before theirs they always considered me now where is this person how can they even go away from me all right this hermit is the one is this this is the way you been in a hangman it been reflecting in yourself with this hermit i'm feeling like the way this person isolated themselves from other people they might be talking to people i'm not saying that they have gone to himalaya to do yoga no this person might be there with other people but they are feeling quite isolated and detached and this is the way they are trying to gain the clarity about the situation and they are understanding like seriously i mean you fucking kidding me that this person is gone from my life really now this is the thing i saw the hierophant here in your card and here the hierophant is in their card too this can this is the significant that this separation and this walking away of you is pushed them to think like what the fuck like what's this connection it's like a introspection see spiritual awakening is not all about seeing these and that it's also understanding being connected to yourself higher self loving yourself seeing yourself seeing the love true love all right this person is now seeing the true love that they missed because when we do we don't have something we understand the value of that this is the hierophant this is a spiritual awakening of that person underneath the wheel of fortune this is turning the wheel is turning now now so far this person were dealing with superficial relationships superficial people and that's why they understood perceived the understanding of the relationship but now the wheel is turning now this person is being able to see that no oh my god so i'm the ac again uh this is not right we we were different it was a different connection it was not whatever i am used to see all the time i did wrong to this person i really did wrong i think they tried to like you know work hard um doing these and that more extra work going out with the friends maybe taking much more projects and things working extra hours to keep them occupied or maybe going out with friends and things but it didn't work it's not working it's not giving them that they they it's not replacing you it's not replacing you with the three of shows i would say they might be trying third parties rebound relationship talking to other people but what is happening this is hurting them even more see this the rose is pricked with this shirt it's like more they are going out to talk to other people to forget you everybody reminds you of them them of you because always they are comparing that this is not they will be reacting this is not this person will be talking to me everything is reminding them of you no matter wherever they are doing no matter whatever they are doing wherever they are going every fucking thing is reminding them of you your love and your connection this is a love of like once in a lifetime people get this kind of connection the lovers and now they are understanding i made a poor choice by pushing this person away all right now they want you back they want they want to come forward with some kind of apology or a new offer 
two aces here ace of pentacle ace of shorts here underneath that is the four of fucking wands they want a reconciliation this person want a new beginning they wants to come forward with some kind of kind of communication towards you because this is not doing any good for them and that is what happens see i'm not saying this person is a bad person not at all not at all see we all meet people in lifetime for a reason we come whatever we are today is a product of what we have encountered in our childhood or the experiences we have if a child has bad experiences negative experiences when expressing their feeling they learn to shut down those emotions all right so they become like that it's not their fault but yes they, we have a choice as adults how we want to show up how we want to work on our you know belief system there is a room to change there is a room to uh, you know there should be some flexibility that you know um that yes whatever i have believed so far it's not right everybody is not same i'm sorry everybody is not same there are people who truly love who truly care this is a choice i need i love this person for this person i need to change that is a real adults perspective because we are not toddlers anymore what happened in our childhood we are not going to continue that we want to be the best version of that once we know that yes some wrong conceptions i had this person is showing me different things why don't i change myself for this person to keep this person what it needs to be always ego and pride that's not right 333 on the counter so i'm saying that i believe that this is the final pushback your divine their divine their spirit guides needed for this person to grow to understand to get a shake like you know no this is not right they were kind of a sleepwalking that everybody is like that people are like that nobody loves everybody is selfish everybody doing for selfish reason that's what the thought process they perceive to learn other people this is a wake up call and unless until you are removed from their life they will never learn it so this is their growth and for you also it is another learning lesson that yes i love them but not more than me i need to love myself more than anybody else in this world so you are learning two different lessons here now if you ask me whether this connection is working this is going to come back or not i strongly believe if this is your reading this connection is going to come back but are you, i'm going to ask you to stay like you know for this person no i'm telling you this separation happened for a reason and that's it's you to learn that you need to love yourself more than this person so that you don't accept this kind of inconsistent behavior and you set up with your boundary you only take this person back when they understand that this kind of inconsistent on on off energy is not good for you and you are not accepting it after that if they come back you can welcome them i'm not asking you to do this but this is what my suggestion to you what you going to do that's your fucking problem not mine you can do anything you want and regarding this person this is your learning lesson to understand that yes true love exists this person truly loved me and now let me see how the world is when this person is gone from my life and choose the right path whether i should bring this person back to my life change myself and accept my accountabilities and accept my traumas and heal myself or not that is their fucking choice so what you guys going to do separately that's your problem and this is your choice but you know what i'm trying to tell you here if you didn't understand so far what the fuck you are doing so far here anyways um l b a a m n l w e m i'm oh, sorry e m w w w here i y c f and k these letters can be anywhere in their name your name um or you know whatever in first name last name or whatever so that's it and again one 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 on the counter again so yes that's all i will leave you with that take care bye